Hey everyone, there's a new update for Topaz Photo AI version 1.0.8. It seems like they're coming out weekly. Today, I want to look at that update and also I want to give you some of my observations of why I feel Topaz Photo AI is the future for Topaz Labs. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Today we're looking at version 1.0.8. This update was released November 3rd, so I highly recommend that you get this update. Now, most of the changes have been under the hood, and I'll show you how to get to this page here very simply. All you need to do is click on my affiliate link in the description below this video. It's going to take you right here, and then just click on account. And once you do that, You'll, you could sign in if you're not signed in, it'll ask you to log in. And then what you can do is just come here to my products and you're gonna find Topaz Photo AI right up here at the top and click latest version 1.0.8, click on here and it'll take you right here. Now, here's where you can provide feedback right here. See where it says reply? Right under the introduction of what's changed in Topaz Photo AI for this update and there's a reply right here. So. Click on that reply and then you could leave your comments there and that way you can give them your feedback. And that's important because this is a work in progress and I think that's a good thing because if you own all three of the Topaz products like Sharpen AI, Denoise AI, and Gigapixel AI, this is free for you. So as they're developing this product, making it better, your feedback will help them know what we as photo editors want in this software. And Topaz are good at listening and adapting this product for us so we get a part of the development of this to make it better for us and in the long run we as the editors will win along with topaz labs and that's a good thing not a bad thing also if you click on my affiliate link and you don't own all the topaz products yet and you want to go ahead and complete your bundle so you can get photo ai for free say like you own denoise ai and sharpen ai you don't yet have Gigapixel AI, you could go ahead and click on the affiliate link, which brings you to this page as well. And make sure you log into your account first by clicking account and then go back to this page and then click buy for $199 and it will calculate what you need to complete your bundle. So in other words, if you just need Gigapixel AI, you're only going to be paying for Gigapixel AI, not the full $199 and then you will get Photo AI for free after you complete that bundle. So that's kind of nice. And that also goes for license renewal. If you let a license lag, if you click buy for $199, it'll calculate what license you need to bring back up to date to get Photo AI for free. So just click buy for $199 there as well, and it will calculate it out for you. Sorry for the long introduction, but these are things I thought you need to know. Now I'm inside of Topaz Photo AI. Now I've launched this from Photoshop and there's a reason for that which you're going to see coming up shortly. This update version 1.0.8 has all pretty much under the hood fixes. No really new added features to Photo AI. So I want to jump right into my observation of why I feel Photo AI is the future. And to do that I will compare Photo AI with Sharpen AI and show you how Photo AI will really speed up your workflow. I'm using auto settings on both Sharpen AI and Photo AI. And you can see using autopilot settings here in Photo AI. And if I hover over the subject, you can see there is my subject. And if we go to Sharpen AI, you can see here is my subject selected as well. Now with Sharpen AI, let me go ahead and zoom in to 200% because I want to show you something very interesting. When you apply sharpening to the subject only, You'll notice not only do we have remove blur, but we have suppressed noise. So you'll notice no noise is getting suppressed in this image. Well, what if I want to suppress noise? That means I would have to use denoise first to get rid of the noise. And then I would have to come back in and add my sharpening through sharpen AI. So that's two steps I have to do. Now, if I don't select the subject, I'll shut this off. And now you'll notice all my noise is gone, but now it's sharpening the entire image. But remember, I only want to sharpen the bird. So that's a problem. So I'm going to turn back on my mask. And now the noise is back. But check this out with Photo AI. 
I'm going to go ahead and zoom into 200% and give it a second to update itself. Now remember, my mask is still on, but look, I have no noise and I've only sharpened the bird. I only need to do one step here, which is a real time saver. Now I do want to say this, my workflow, and I have my reasons for doing it, is to always use Topaz products from Photoshop because I always edit my images in Photoshop. If you watch my TK Friday videos every Friday, you know that I'm a big Photoshop guy. So my first step is always to denoise and sharpen the image before I start my actual editing process in Photoshop. And I do realize that I cannot use upsizing in Photo AI from Photoshop. So I'm hoping that gets resolved in a future update, but it's not there yet. And if we can upsize in Photoshop with Gigapixel AI, I do not see any reason why we shouldn't be able to do it with Photo AI, unless I'm missing something here. What I really like about Photo AI is I have a separate remove noise module. I call them modules. That's probably not the proper name, but I have remove noise as well as sharpen. So they're working independently of each other. Unlike in sharpen AI, they work together here. And so that's a problem when you're using a mask, but not so in Photo AI. Here's a reason why I like to use Photoshop to launch Photo AI from or any of the Topaz products because you know what? AI is not perfect. And you see right here, if I left click and hold, you can see the before. I see more detail in this area right here. When it sharpened it, I lost some of that detail. Now, if we look at Sharpen AI, I didn't lose that detail. It's still there. So there's a little bit of a difference between these two. I really like what I'm getting with Photo AI, but the algorithms or the AI seems a little bit different here, and I don't know what's up with that. And hopefully these little things will get ironed out. But let me go back over here to Photo AI. But I'm going to show you how I can take care of this very simply in Photoshop, and it's no big deal. Just to recap, this is why I think Photo AI is the future, because you have Remove Noise and Sharpen as two separate modules, meaning they work independently of each other, and that will really speed up our workflow where we could do it all in one product. Because remember, masking is tied only to sharpening where remove noise encompasses the entire image, which is what you want and what you need. Now I'm gonna save this out to Photoshop and I'm left clicking here and fix this problem right here. You see that? I'm gonna bring this detail back. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this to Photoshop. All you need to do is click Save to Photoshop, and as you can see, it's saving. I'll leave this in real time so you can see how long this actually takes here. And it's almost done, and now I'm back in Photoshop. So you can see, here is my before when I shut this layer off. Here's the before, and here is the after. Now let me go ahead and fix this area right here. All I need to do is add a layer mask to this layer, so click this icon. There's my layer mask, and with a black brush, which I already have black, 100% opacity, all I need to do is just paint right along here and paint that back in. And just like that, my problem has been solved. So here is the before, see all that noise? And here is the after. The bird is sharpened, I fixed that area. This is another reason I like to launch Topaz AI products from Photoshop because I can resolve issues that AI has created me very simply in Photoshop. Well, there it is, everyone. Topaz Photo AI, a new update, version 1.0.8. Go ahead and grab it if you haven't yet. Complete your image quality bundle and get Photo AI and start trying it out. Give your feedback also to Topaz Labs. It'll really help improve this product. If you enjoyed the uh, video today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. You'll get a notification each time I put out a new tutorial. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.